Good evening, animal ecologists. I think this might be my last video tonight. So we're looking at our same data set of fish lengths and weights at different ages. And this time we're going to calculate our survival and our mortality. This one doesn't require using Excel per se. You can do this with a calculator but it's nice to be able to do the counting pretty quickly with the computer. So to find the survival rate is S equals, we need to find T, we need to find the sum of N, and then that's it. To find the mortality rate, it's simply the inverse of the survival rate. So T is N1, plus 2n2, plus 3n3, and so on and so forth. And the sum of n is n of 0 plus n of 1 plus n of 2 plus n of 3, and so on and so forth. So what is n? n is the number of individuals in a certain age class plus all of the individuals older than that. To calculate n0, it's basically all the individuals that are age 0 and all the individuals older. So that's basically all the individuals. So we're going to sort. My Excel is acting up on me, but once you have sorted for age, so we're gonna sort age by smallest to largest so that all of the youngest ones are together. So then we can find out the n for zero is equals count of all of the data points, basically, the entire sheet, because everything is older than zero. And then n1 is anything that's one and older. Wait, let's do equals, <laughs> equals count. Everything one and older. And so on and so forth. And two and three, and four, and five, and six. So I've gotten to the bottom and there's not very many of everything left. So I'm gonna copy and paste it so I don't have to keep scrolling down to the bottom. And N8 equals count. And if there's 10 eights, that means there's eight nines. And we've got five tens. And I guess 11 is four. There aren't any 11s, but everything 11 and greater. So four. And 12 is also four. And 13 is 3, and, and 14 is 2. So I'm going to actually write in 10 here. OK, and then I can erase these. Now that I have my ends, I can write my formula. So you can do this however you want to do it. So first we want to find t. t is going to be equals n1 plus 2 times n2 plus 3 times n3 plus 
four times n4 plus five times n5 and six plus 14 times n4. All right, that's moment of truth. That's our T, 2,335. So the next thing is sum of N. That one's, this one's even easier. The sum of N is equals N zero plus N one plus N two plus N three plus n4, plus n5. This one, I'm not sure if this is faster. You could just type this into your calculator if you wanted. Um, there's our sum of. That's it. Now we can do the equation. So the numerator is just t. So s equals equals t divided by the sum of n. Let's put that, oh, let's do a bracket. The sum of n plus T again, minus one for error. They always like to do that. Put that back in your bracket and enter. That's our survival rate. So then our mortality rate is one minus S which is just the other half. So we have a decent, 70% is a decent survival rate. Not bad. All right, I think that's it for my Excel lessons. Good luck on your report. <laughs>